Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial for deploying WebRoot Secure Anywhere Business Endpoint Protection through Group Policy. In this brief tutorial, I will firstly show you how to obtain the MSI deployment package. I'll then demonstrate how to insert your key code into the MSI. And finally, we'll place the MSI into a network share ready for us to create the Group Policy object. So let me firstly show you how easy it is to download the MSI. The first step is to log in to your Secure Anywhere Management Console at my.webrootanywhere.com. Once authenticated, you should click on your username in the upper right of the screen and select Downloads. On the Downloads page, you will see several different deployment options. The MSI package is located towards the bottom. Save the MSI locally, but be mindful that you'll need to transfer it to your server later on. Now that we've downloaded the MSI, you should now insert your key code into the MSI so that it can be seamlessly deployed. To achieve this, WebRoot recommends using a third-party MSI editing tool called Orca. Orca is a free tool which you can download online. Once you have downloaded and installed Orca, you can simply right-click the Secure Anywhere MSI and select Edit with Orca. Once inside Orca, you should scroll down to the property table on the left-hand side. In the right-hand side window, scroll down to the GUI LIC field and enter your key code. You should ensure that no spaces are entered into this field. It's also worth noting that you can enter more advanced commands, such as proxy servers, into the CMD line field. We'll cover the advanced commands in a later video, but if you have a relatively straightforward setup, you can leave this field alone. Select Save, and your MSI has now been prepared, ready for deployment. We now need to create the network share that your MSI will be deployed from. The first step is to create a new folder on your server. Let's call this WebRoot. Right-click on the WebRoot folder to select Properties, and then the Sharing tab. Hit the Advanced Sharing button, and then check this box to share the folder. The final step is to set the permissions. As a general rule, you should grant read access to domain computers and authenticated users, and full control to system. Now that we've set the permissions, you should copy your MSI into the folder. The final step to a successful deployment is to create your group policy object and assign it to your endpoints. The steps in this section of the video refer to a Server 2008 deployment, but it's a very similar process in other versions. So let's go ahead and open the Group Policy Management Console. We should now right-click on Group Policy Objects and select New. Let's go ahead and call our new GPO, WebRoot Secure Anywhere. Now that we created our GPO, we should right-click it and select Edit. Under Computer Configuration, you should then select Policies, then Software Settings, and finally Software Installation. Right-click on Software Installation and select Properties. In the Default Package Location field, enter the UNC path to the network share that we created earlier. You should not use the Browse button. Under New Packages, select Assign, and under Installation User Interface Options, select Basic. You should now right-click Software Installation and select New and then Package. If you have followed these steps correctly, your MSI should now be displayed. Select the MSI and your GPO is now ready. The final step is to assign your new GPO to your endpoints. You can simply right-click on an OU of computers and link the WebRoot Secure Anywhere GPO. When the computers in the group restart, WebRoot Secure Anywhere will automatically and silently install in the background without any interaction from the end user. Today you've seen that it takes just five minutes to set up a GPO that is capable of deploying WebRoot Secure Anywhere to your entire organization. But if you'd rather not use group policy, you're welcome to use a different software installation tool. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to your sales engineer. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.